So pillar number one, you want to pick the perfect topic. Topic, please well, repeat after me. Pillar number one is what? Pick the perfect topic. Pick the perfect topic. Well, but then how do I know what is the perfect topic for my audience? Well, here's how to create, how to choose the webinar topics that are sure to boost signups. The king of high ticket sales. World's highest paid consultant. Media celebrity. Multi-millionaire entrepreneur. Acclaimed TEDx speaker. International best-selling author. Dan Locke. Your webinar topics needs to be something that solves a specific problem. What kind of problem? Or offers a specific result that your audience is craving. A problem, you're solving a problem, or a result, just one, that they want, they're craving. It should be specific, detailed, and enticing. The biggest mistake that I see people make when picking webinar topics is making them way too broad and way too generic. Because they think by going broad, they would what? Get more people. But it has the opposite effect because it's too vanilla. I've heard of that before. I've seen that before. I don't have time for this. Narrow focus. So let me give you some proven headlines. Would that be helpful? Yes. Hello? Yes. Yeah. So curiosity provoking headlines. I like these. Nothing will get people to click on a link faster when the headline opens the gap of curiosity. Curiosity. So here's an example. Weight loss has nothing to do with discipline. Four strategies to lose 20 pounds before summer. If you want to lose weight, how many would be interested and curious about what that is? Good, okay. Will your website survive the Google mobile penalty? If you have a website, if you're in that target audience, will your website survive the Google mobile penalty? Here's a good one for relationship. Happiness is not the key to a lasting marriage. Six myths that could destroy your relationship and what to do instead. So pointing on a problem as well as, hey, what you should do instead. What you should do instead. Now, can you easily modify these for what you do? Yes. If you're in the investment niche, like Clint, right? You can modify the myths that are destroying your finance and what to do instead. You can change a few words and you can use it. What these headlines are designed to do is challenging. What is it? Challenge. An existing belief. You are saying there's something you don't know. Get on this webinar, I'll show you what those things are. Versus the same vanilla stuff they've heard of a thousand times. Another very, my favorite headlines, how to. What is it? How to focus headlines. So a how to webinar appeals to the audience practical needs by offering solutions and hope. This kind of topic issues uh, participants that their time ensures, sorry, ensures that, that the time will be well spent because they know they're gonna get some practical knowledge. How to, how to. So here's an example from Neil Patel. How to generate 185,013 visitors in a month without spending a dollar on ads by Neil Patel. Let me ask you a question. Is that very specific? Yes. It's not generate some visitors per month. It's not generate a lot of visitors per month. It's not even 100,000 visitors. It's 185,013 visitors. Bam! How to get 10,000 fans, publish a book, and make 100K in 18 months. Boom, boom, boom. If you, 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 if you want to be author, that's a very, very specific benefit. Here's an example for someone, they say, runs a, a music school, a music dance school. <clears throat> how not to lose students over summer. Discover how BC Studios keep 85% of the students with this three-step system. Can you see a pattern here, yes? Yeah, boom, boom, boom. How to focus. And you can easily change these to, to what, what you want to do, what you sell. Here's another one of my favorite. Best kept secrets headline. What is it? What's the title of this talk? Webinar Secrets. Webinar Secrets. Nobody can resist a secret, especially when it comes, to, comes from someone they admire. 
This webinar topic oozes the promise of unfair advantage. What kind of advantage? Unfair advantage by offering your audience the insider tricks they crave. So here's an example. My secret formula for building a massive email list. Oh, what's the formula? My secret formula. Well, how, what, what is it? Well, get on the damn webinar, you'll find out. <laughs> Revealed why you may be getting low traffic even though you're the first page of Google. What the hell? Right? Why you may be getting low traffic. You see how it's talking to a very specific audience? You're not interested in that if your site is not on the first page of Google. But if you're on the first page of Google, and you're like, how come I'm not getting leads? How come I'm not getting enough traffic? And you see this on a webinar, you'll register. Three little known secrets to getting up to 10,000 Instagram followers in 30 days. Again, very specific. 10,000 Instagram followers. If you're not interested in being on Instagram, this has zero interest to you. But that's, if that's what you want to do, it's like, wow, how do you do that? Because I've been monkeying around with Instagram. I've only got like 300 subscribers, followers, including my mom and my cat, right? How do I, how do I get out of this? Oh, three secrets to know, show me how to do that. Interesting. So let me give you a few more. You have news headlines. So something like announcing, announcing new opponent drug promises to cure obesity in only six months. Bam, news headline. What's new? Benefit headline. Now, create your own ebook in just one day. Benefit. Truth and lies headline, the five shocking myths and facts about making money online. Five shocking myths and facts about making money online. So, review truth and lies headlines. And there's so many different headline templates, I don't have time to go into it today, but you can pick any one of the ones I've shown you, like bust a myth headline, question headline, testimonial headline, the command headline, top list headline, problems and fear headline, step-by-step -step headline, complex based simple headline, etc. But for now, any one of those three would work, what I've just shared with you, okay? What you want to do is, it's you want your potential, pro potential clients, you want them to get a, a hell yes from them. What is it? Louder? Hell yes. hell yes. The hell yes effect. You want your ideal clients to read your headline of your webinar and say, this is exactly what I was hoping to learn. It's a very good limit test, limit test, very simple. This is exactly what I was hoping to learn. Not, eh, this is kind of what I want to learn. Uh, this would be nice to learn. No, this is exactly what I was hoping to learn. You want your ideal client to read your headline and think that. You've been watching my videos for some time now, and you might be wondering, then how do I go to the next level, or how could I be mentored by you? Here's what I want you to do. My very first assignment to see if you qualify. I want you to go to fumoney.com to download a copy of my book. You can't even do that. I cannot be your mentor. The second step is after you download my book, I want you to read it. And you also get an invitation to register for, for one of my upcoming webinars. I want you to register and show up for that webinar. During the webinar, I go through all the details of how you can possibly be mentored by me. Go there right now, fumoney.com.